It's just like a day of fun memories. I love hanging out with my girlfriends. So I've got to decide. Sponsored by Beats. Sponsored by Beats. Cheers. Cheers. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday morning and I thought this could be a really fun thing to try over here. I'm going to do one single Sunday in the life. I have a couple different things going on today and as I was editing last weekend's vlog where I was doing all those fun house projects, I realized there was one day where I filmed so much and I was like, well, if I could film that much in a day. Why not just try a one day vlog and see what happens? So let's give it a shot. First things first today, I am heading out in a little bit. I'm actually only halfway ready right now. I'm going to finish my makeup and my hair um, because it's way too big, but we're going to go meet Angie for coffee. Her little boy is two months now. Um, and I was like, do you want to get out of the house for a little bit and have some girl time? And so we're going to go do that. And then we have a few content related things to do today in terms of batching content for the week. Night is a really sweet, um, uh, family night at Mark's parents house because Mark is getting ready to head out for the World Series of Poker. Um, apparently in this whole like tournament series they've start they start playing in like early June. I guess Vegas is just like popping with poker players from early June to end of July ish. So it's two full months so there's all kinds of different events that you can play. And he's going to go out there and play um, a variety of events before the main event starts. That's the one that if uh, this is the first time watching a video on my channel a few months ago, Mark um, played some tournaments to win a ticket to play the main event in Las Vegas for the World Series of Poker. So we're super excited and he is going to start playing that event um, beginning of July and I'll be out there for that. So we'll get to hang out in Vegas with him for a little bit. So tonight is kind of the celebration like his mom wants to do like a little send off for him. Um, so that'll be fun. So I'm definitely taking you along for that. Today is just like a day of fun memories, I feel like. So we gotta, we gotta vlog it. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we will head out. I love hanging out with my girlfriends. It is one of my favorite things in the world, in the absolute world. Um, we had such a nice time at a place called Combine Kitchen. If you're ever in the Inland Empire, highly recommend. They have like really good um, coffee. First of all, they have my favorite lavender latte ever and I've been craving it and so I'm so glad we came here. But also they have like avocado toast, they have an acai bowl which I got and salads, just lots of fun food. Um, and then they have live music. So that's the only clip I got for you. Sorry about that. We were just like in the zone catching up. I haven't seen her in like seven weeks because her baby yeah since I first met the baby but um, super excited to have girl time so now we're gonna head home and uh, I'll catch up with you there okay we have two and a half hours before we need to leave and I Mark and I are gonna have a little time to just sit and chat and do our weekly little meeting that we like to do but before that I have about 15 minutes where I just want to clean in here mainly the floors so I'm gonna like as fast as I can speed clean our floors just vacuum them um, because they feel so gross so I'm gonna set you up right here and we're gonna do that together The day is getting away from me, but I am going to quickly put a little outfit reel together. And I was thinking, we don't have a lot of time before we need to leave. We have about 30 minutes. And I was like, how can I make this short and sweet, but also make it like uh, functional for an outfit reel? Cause like, you know, that's like, usually I put like four or five outfits together. But then I was thinking, what if I did three things that every SLP needs in their summer, summer wardrobe? Um, so I'm going to quickly put that together. So I thought I'm going to bring you along and show you these three things that I think everybody needs, um, to stay functional and cool and, uh, you know, 
cute. Functional, cool, and cute. The three things everybody needs in an outfit. That's it. And the cute part is subjective. As long as you feel it's cute, you know? That's it. I thought it would be cool because I was doing that and I had my camera rolling. I thought it would be cool to film me filming because I've been doing a lot of reels that are like, um, I'll like just take a clip of like me baking or me cleaning or whatever and then I'll throw a voiceover behind it of like something maybe motivational or just like a quick reminder for for SLPs and so this is kind of fun because this is what I've been doing in my day daily life is hanging with you on YouTube so why not make that into a little reel <laughs> okay first thing I'm gonna talk about in this reel first thing is a chunky sandal like a chunky you can wear this to a meeting, but also you can get away with this in a play-based session because it got more of a casual kind of vibe to it. As long as it's comfy, especially if you're a preschool SLP or pediatric SLP, as long as it's something that you're okay being on your feet in, I like that the heel isn't too big. They also, right now, the platforms are in. For me, being five foot three, this really helps kind of like give me a little height. Okay, the next thing, now if you've been watching this summer, you, this is no surprise to you that this has become a staple and a very um, highly coveted capsule wardrobe item for me, but over like loose fitted button down over shirts that I can throw on over a tank top like this. And some instances seem to like elevate an outfit, but also like that layering piece, I don't know. I like outfits that have more dimension and that layering is really fun. Also for IEP meetings, you're outside and it's hot, so you don't wanna have heavy clothing on obviously, but inside when the AC is blasting and you're wearing a tank top, it's too cold. And so having something like this that covers your shoulders and your arms and helps keep you warm, but then it's not like too bad when you're walking back to your car after is pretty practical so definitely love me uh, like a light linen blend over shirt that's the best way to put it if you didn't guess that linen <laughs> linen pants would be part of this little haul um, then you maybe don't know me very well no uh, linen pants they're always going to be a go-to, especially when the temperatures are a little bit higher. We're getting ready for Vegas. I will be bringing every single pair of linen pants that I own because that's what I'll be living in when I'm there, when the temperatures are that high. There's no point in wearing <laughs> anything else. I love how versatile they are because I could put like one of my oversized button downs over it. Um, there's a matching shirt from Quince that I found and I actually really like the vibe of this with a crop top and like if you're going out for dinner or something, it's a little safari, it's a little Steve Irwin, but it uh, is just a little elevated when you wear a little cute pair of black heels or something with it. That's it, that's the third thing. So what do we got? We got comfy shoes, we've got comfy tops, and comfy pants. There's your outfit. For the rest of the night, I actually, so the theme for our little shindig that we're going to at Mark's parents' house is Vegas. <laughs> because you know, that's where we're gonna all be pretty soon. Um, and so I'm deciding between like getting really glitzy and glam or going more like pool party. So I've gotta decide, how do I want this outfit to look? We went full send on the pool party. <laughs> it's so funny trying to make decisions of what to wear when you're like hungry and it's hot because it's so hot upstairs in our room. And Mark and I are both like just looking at the bed of like filled with clothes of options to wear. <laughs> like, we don't know what to do here, but let me show you real quick what I'm wearing. All right, here we go. I never wear shorts with like any kind of heel. So this is a new experience for me. Um, these are at this point, probably vintage made well <laughs> shorts. They are, I've had them for so long. It's this like linen top, top. I think I got it from Bohm. Um, layered necklaces, put a little glitter in my eyeshadow and uh, we're good to go. All right, let's go. Okay, so last, this is set up at the World Series of Poker, so Marie and I found it. You, it's for photo ops. Oh, okay, oh, And then we, cute. we made Mark stand there. Yeah. And hey Mark, if you wanna borrow this, we can do the World Series of Poker. <laughs> That's Mark now. You look way more, uh, way more ready for yeah. what's to come. Yeah, I can't believe it's already like this. Yeah. 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 The one I won the seat for, that doesn't start until like, yeah. It was nice. 
because what I was doing. Should I pair them up? Is that what's going on? Chad. I gotta pair it to my watch. Chad, do you want to say hi to YouTube? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Our thoughts on Beats. We love you, Beats. We love you, Beats. Want to sponsor us? Sponsor Mark at the World Series of Poker. Sponsored by Beats. Sponsored. my director of photography for one second and record us and uh this is a reenactment oh let's pour some hey. dice. oh cheers cheers oh that was sour oh yeah so sour we just drank our calm natural vitality shots uh we don't usually do it in shot form but today we did today we did and that was an experience did that record it did. Okay, we have not done a little get unready with me in a little bit of time here. So I thought, you know what, it's always fun to go over my nighttime routine because it is one of my favorite self-care moments <laughs> so of the day. So I'm just I thought thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you what uh what I'm using. And I'm going to be better about letting you see the products. <laughs> but this first one is the Primally Pure Cleansing Oil. I use this every night before I wash my face. I usually double cleanse my face because I feel like my face just kind of needs that. And so first and foremost though, this stuff, because it gets all my makeup off without stripping the oils, which is really, really nice. And I'm just going to let this sit on my face. Sorry, I'm going to look scary for about one minute because that's about as long as I like to let it sit. Um, tonight was really fun. We had a really good time with Mark's family and then some of his family friends that have like known him since he was little were there. But it was really fun because it was like a going away party for Mark. Do such a big thing. To, to me, it's just really cool and big. To me, any time anybody does something that they're passionate about, um, it's a big deal. And I'm just so proud of him and excited for him. And um, I can't believe it's already here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna now rinse this off of my face. I just dab it off with a damp uh, towel. Something else I've been loving, and I just use this after I do the cleansing oil, I do go in with um, the second kind of step in cleansing my face every night. And I use this uh, custom cleanser from Pros, And I love it because I mean, it even has my name on it. It's just all custom made for, for me, just like my shampoo is, because I get my shampoo from them too. Um, and so I really quick cleanse with that. And now I am going, oh my gosh, I need to get a new one. I am going to use my plumping mist, which if you haven't seen me do this before, I quickly hydrate with my plumping mist. Then I use my plumping serum, which we're going to do in a minute. And then I um, gua sha, and then I'll put my plumping cream on. So let's do that. Also, I will link all these things below. The Primally Pure I am an affiliate for, so um, I will put my discount code, which is Morris10. <laughs> it gets you 10% off your first order. I'll put all that information below. Actually, really quick, I'm going to put a little vitamin C on because I feel like my skin really needs this. This is by Dime. But back to tonight. It was just a really sweet night, a really sweet day, honestly. I know it's kind of funny because it's like I wanted to do this whole day in the life vlog and then today really flew by and I don't know what all I got for you. So it could be a really fast eight minute vlog or maybe we have more footage and I don't realize it yet. Either way, I'd like to know what you think of like this style of a vlog. Obviously it wouldn't always be a Sunday. We could do a lot of fun 
um, days in the life, uh, SLP life wise. It's just interesting to try it out and I felt like today was a day where um, there was just enough going on but not too much to feel overwhelming, like not put too much pressure on myself to get too much content. I don't know, I don't know, but uh, it's been fun. I think I'm gonna overdo it on the skincare tonight. I feel like my skin needs it though. It needs a lot of love. I also have been trying this from Pros. So I used my Primally Pure. When I um, did the quiz, you can choose if you want it like more of a matte finish or glossy. And I have <laughs> greasy looking skin. Like I like dewy and my skin will still come out dewy even if I put all the mattifying products on it. My, like, don't you worry. But this glides on so, oh, it's like, it's just dreamy, the way it feels on my face. It does, it like kind of helps soften pores and uh, just soften soften the gloss. I don't need completely matte. I don't want to be like completely matte or look dry and I don't feel like I look dry. Like under makeup, this stuff is beautiful. Oh, that feels good. My face feels so good. That was kind of chaotic, but I think I'm just very tired because it is literally 11.30. I do have an IEP tomorrow, but not till noon. So I'm gonna sleep in and then um, have myself a slow little morning. I'm actually gonna start another vlog tomorrow because we are getting down to the wire here. Mark is going to leave in a few days. There's things we need to go pick up for him to make sure he takes, things I want to help him do, things I need help with him doing before he takes off, like around the house and stuff. So we've got quite the to-do list. So we'll spend the next couple days getting those things knocked off our list. Plus, we're finishing up summer assessments, and I definitely want to take you along, um, at least in reflection, um, tomorrow for the IEP, because I do have some things uh, I'd like to share with you my thoughts on being a part of a multidisciplinary assessment team um, and, and how that's looked a lot different than what I've been used to in the last <laughs> however many years I've been doing this SLP thing. So definitely want to share more with you, but that's all going to come. I am going to just savor the last moments of this day that we got to spend together and um, really just get ready for bed and see you. For me, tomorrow, literally tomorrow, and I can't wait, can't wait to see you again. All right, my friends, till next time.